my name is Chiderap. I'm coming all the way from Lagos. I told God that when you do this, I will come here live and direct to testify. I got married 2016, and um, 2016 October. Then by December I took in, you know, thinking is business as usual, everything is fine. Entering February 2017 at nine weeks, I lost the baby as a result of high blood pressure. Then I thought, okay, maybe after four months I'll take it in again. My dear, this is not common. The a year and eight months. I took it again. That was 218. At seven months, I lost the baby again at a dose of high blood pressure, multiple fibroid and ovarian cyst. So I was I was depressed for over six months. I was so depressed and I wasn't even going to church. Then 2021, someone came across my husband and introduced him to NSPVD. So he came back and told me that was September that babe, let's just join this prayer on, online prayer. I told him, see, I'm not so interested. I've done all the medical procedure I'm supposed to do. We've taken all the herbal drugs. We, in fact, we've taken down to Ghanaian drugs, all the concussions, and it wasn't working. And what I was diagnosed of two blocked ovarian, um, fallopian tubes, multiple fibroids, ovarian cysts. So getting pregnant is 50 50 times. So I told myself that, see, I'm not interested. He told me, okay, if it's not for the baby, let's just join to improve our prayer life. Let's forget about anything. When God is ready to do it for us, He will do it for us. Like every other person I joined, September, nothing happened. In fact, Papa said you should write a day that you want that, you want that particular thing to happen for you. I wrote 28th of September. September, nothing happened. November, nothing happened. My husband traveled out of the country for his business. December 28th, each, each of these dates, I used to go to lab to go and check if there is anything. The only thing they will tell me, multiple fibroid, ovarian cyst is 50-50 chance. I said, no problem. So December, I went again, as usual, to go and do it again, the same results. So January, when Papa talked about fasting and prayer, on a more serious note, I've never done 21 days fasting and prayer. And I've never done six to six. But I thought to myself, see, is it this year, this January, this 2022, it must end. I joined, so one of the days, one of the testifiers gave testimony that she lost her first baby at six weeks, the second one at seven months, the third one, after nine months, still bed. So it was a kind of similar to my own case. And she said that what she did was, each time Papa said, apply olive oil, or anoint yourself. She will anoint her head, anoint her tummy, and anoint her private heart. Oh, mom, I joined. <laughs> so during the fasting and prayer, anytime Papa said, anoint yourself, see you there, I'll, I'll anoint my head, anoint my tummy, and anoint below. That was how I was doing this. And in my shop, once it's 5.30, I'll be shouting, fire, 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 fire. People will be like, what is wrong with this man? I know what I was looking for. So after the test, the normal 28, after the fast, the normal, my, my usual 28 of January, that was the day my husband came back. The one thing that happened, that one of the things that happened when I did that last test was, they didn't see the burial cyst again. That one disappeared. So the 8th of February. The Obago news entered. It's at the, it, the journey started. It wasn't easy. High blood pressure, all the go, 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 all the negativity. Sometimes they'll tell you, your baby is not growing. You know, I'll get back to the altar of fire. I'll lie down there. They'll go, see, you're the one that gave me this baby. I don't know how this baby entered inside this tummy, but I know that you will sustain me. I'll every day I'll sit down there. Anything they say, I'll come back to the altar of fire and I'll sit down there. They'll go, see, it is your baby. Oh. There's nothing devil can do this time. On October fourteenth. God gave me my beautiful. That October happened to be my wedding anniversary. Not only that God gave me a birthday gift, he now oh, made everything beautiful by giving us, oh, this bundle of joy. I named him Mwachuku Joshua. Pastor Jerry. Pastor Jerry.
What God cannot 